Hey guys, Coach Wright here, Team Flex. You're on my channel where we're covering today everything about wellness and bikini. Kind of this comparison. What is wellness? What is bikini? What is the difference, right? This is a great video today for any of you compares out there that you know maybe you're trying to compete in both of these maybe you're trying to figure out which one you want to compete in maybe you're just a bikini competitor but you want to know a little bit more about the differences or where this division is kind of heading maybe you're just wellness and you want to know those differences or where this is heading today we're going to dive into all that and this is kind of you know sparking up from an instagram post that i did wellness versus bikini kind of telling you guys what's the similarities what's the differences so if you guys don't follow me on instagram i strongly encourage you to go over there at team flex check that out because you know we put tons of great content over there that I don't do on YouTube at all and uh, a lot of people really do enjoy that so I strongly encourage you to check out our Instagram and be sure to follow us and then if you guys do get anything out of my show today please do me a favor and subscribe all right that's a big deal for me and a thumbs up I appreciate it you guys that helps me boost up in the algorithm you know which helps us all over here and I can keep doing these great videos for you guys teach you all this cool stuff so let's dive into this okay I'm not gonna review the graphic just kind of showing you that so you can check it out on the gram but boom we're gonna pull these these up side by side and kind of really review exactly what each category is and what we're looking at here okay so let's start first off with understanding the different shapes of these divisions so obviously on the left you guys over here uh, I'm gonna be drawing on the screen the entire video for you guys to kind of highlight some areas uh, over here is our wellness competitor, Francili Matos. She is the uh, wellness Olympia, kind of setting the standards, setting the criteria, being the first wellness Olympia ever. This is really the judges saying, hey, this is what we're looking for. And over here on the right, we got Jen Dory, you guys. Jen Dory is now a uh, bikini Olympia champion, and you know she's exemplifying the criteria for bikini. Now, this was an interesting Olympia all around because this was the first time that we got a separation, uh, like this kind of delineation made, right, where the judges said, hey, this is our wellness this is our bikini and uh this you know a lot of people were wondering all kind of years since wellness was announced is this going to change the way things are judged it's going to change the way things are done okay and so that's a little bit of something we'll cover in this video today but let's dive into what these exact differences are okay so conditioning let's start there and you guys we're talking about conditioning being body fat percentage right like how much of the muscle can you see how lean are you how shredded are you okay if you guys think about divisions like women's physique you know figure um things like that that are above these two divisions they're much leaner right you're going to see striations in muscles you're going to see different cuts in muscles you might see separation in deltoids for example especially in quads okay especially in these quads you would be seeing cuts and things like that we're just not seeing them in these divisions in either one because the conditioning is actually right on point just about the same okay and now a lot of people think even looking at these pictures you'd be like well no obviously wellness is a bit leaner you know they look leaner they have this here's the thing about wellness they carry more muscle mass overall okay so when they have more muscle as an athlete by default you're going to look leaner but the body fat percentages between these divisions you know from a judging standpoint conditioning should be the same, meaning they don't want you to be super shredded, lean, and wellness. You shouldn't show splits in your quads, no striations in the shoulders. You know, you want to see these lines, these cuts, the separation that we see on both of these women here, but you're not going to be seeing this actual hard, you know, chiseled, shredded physique where you see these different muscle fibers, okay? So that's the first thing to understand. The conditioning between bikini and wellness, it's the same, all right? It's relatively the same, right on par with each other. Some athletes may look a little bit leaner, a little bit softer, but that's that's the same way it's been in the sport forever, you guys, okay? So that's one thing to note. Conditioning is always going to be pretty on point the same in both of these divisions. Now, when we look to the upper body, right, we start looking at the muscle, right? Because everything in either of these divisions is going to be all about the muscle. It's all about that muscle shape, that muscle size, the symmetry, the proportion to other muscles, and so on and so forth. So let's look just upper body here. So you'll see a uh, wellness athlete here, our wellness athlete, Francili, has this rounded development of the shoulder, okay? Her shoulders are going to be rounded. They're going to be developed. They're going to bring this width across the upper body. This is what we look at for starting the shape of the wellness physique, okay? This shoulder roundness. Now look over here, Jen Dory, same kind of thing. We got the roundness to the shoulders, creates the width up top. This is very important if you're trained for either divisions, ladies. You want to make sure that you have this muscle shape, this muscle development, this muscle roundness, this fullness to the shoulder because in both of these divisions, this is where we're going to be. Now upper body wise, these are pretty much the same. You know, we're talking about the same uh, muscle development here. You're pretty on point, rounded in all three heads of the deltoid, it creates that 
fullness creates that shape. Now, you look to the rest of the body here, right? This becomes important as we drop down into the waist, this tapered look, okay? You see how both of these competitors, both of these women here, bikini and wellness, they have this tapered look. This look comes from having, obviously, a small, you know, narrow at the waist, which is very important for both, but also the sweep of the lats, okay? So this becomes important here. Having the lat development that sweeps down is going to be a thing for both types of these divisions. So relatively, you know, the same type of development here. Um, you'll notice both athletes do not have hard chiseled six packs. You're going to see some oblique cuts here. That's part of that conditioning, part of that lines we were talking about, but nobody is overdoing the abs here. And that, that tapered look is important. You want to have this happen on both of these types of competitors, wellness or on bikini you want that starting tapered look okay so really relatively these two divisions so far are very very similar right we're talking about the upper body being matching the same pretty much we're talking about the um conditioning matching to a degree now here is where everything gets different wellness lower body bikini lower body this is where we see a huge huge change okay so you can see obviously the glutes in wellness are far far more developed you guys a lot more roundness here a lot more development overall specifically into this upper glute portion you can see this is built very very well that is key for back pose and very very important in this division this is what makes wellness wellness is this over dominant lower body this is where things really change compared to bikini right you can see here obviously uh over here on our bikini compared gen that you still have this development you have lesser uh development overall though to a large degree compared to wellness and this is honestly a lot more symmetrical to the upper body uh, you know this tapered look the hourglass in other words they want to see in bikini versus what we see in wellness which is obviously going to be a much more dominant lower body you know, hourglass. It's not going to be symmetrical. It's actually the only women's division that is not symmetrical. Okay. So we see this and now we can work into the legs a bit more. So a lot more quad development, you guys, quads, very important in wellness, but notice no splits. Remember I said, you don't want to show splits. If she was too lean, if they wanted that hard conditioning, you'd be seeing all kinds of cuts here. You'd see all four muscles of those quads. And we're just not seeing that because that is not what they want. That conditioning is on point. The legs are very full, a lot bigger, a lot more developed, but you can see the hamstring here, the separation here, all important for wellness over here in bikini we're not going to see that we're not seeing the sheer size in those quads at all we're not seeing the hamstring development to that degree we're not seeing any of these types of things going on even less lines okay so overall you know the bikini division is the symmetrical hourglass shape where we go like this width up top we taper in widens back out there's our hourglass okay now wellness it's pretty much hourglass from the upper into the uh, into the midsection but lower body way more developed it's our only asymmetrical women's division okay so very important to understand that from the start let's look at some other poses some other uh, assessments here so you can really see the difference because that's my whole point with this video you guys and if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure you do so and if you want to learn to train like either one of these competitors you know bikini or wellness do my free trial at my website and I can show you how to do that I just want to further show you what the difference is here right because so many people have a hard time seeing these differences and if we look at this transition pose here this is going to be another clear you know really really defined example okay we can see the upper body on our wellness competitor here is pretty pretty much same matching over here on our bikini competitor you know development's comparable a little bit different in aesthetics maybe the lighting the tents things like that but development is going to be pretty comparable okay but obviously we see what the big difference here is which is the glute development so we look at glute development here you know it, it matches upper body it's symmetrical for gen that's what they want to see in bikini but over here in wellness what we're looking at you know a whole different equation this is nowhere comparable this development wise you know you're going to see it literally looks like it's it's developed to an entirely different degree you know many times more than it is in bikini and this is where you get to see a lot too of how much just muscle these competitors carry as you can see the lower body you know that quad and that separation right here between the quad and the glute and everything there this is a, a very good shot to really highlight these huge significant differences because we're not going to see that over here in bikini right so by now you if you're watching this and you didn't understand what these differences were or how these physiques you know varied I hope you're starting to see it shape up. Let's take a look at the back pose. This is where we really get another look here, okay? So judges in both divisions, like I said, upper body wise, relatively the same. They wanna see this same type of tapered look. So this roundness to the shoulders. We got this on both competitors, okay? Wellness and bikini, pretty comparable there. That tapered look, remember I was talking about the lats before. This is where those lats become really important.
important. They taper you down. They create that width up top, pulls you into the waist, okay? And you'll notice both these competitors do still have this tapered look at the waist. And, you know, it's this hourglass shape. This upper body hourglass is what the judges want to see in both bikini and wellness. Now, again, the lower body is where we get different. And that's what makes wellness wellness. It's where we want to go. So bikini, let's look here first. Bikini, you know, you want to have the glute development that's comparable to the upper body. This upper glute roundness becomes important to show this shape. Uh, one thing you'll hear people talk about all the time is the glute ham tie, right? <laughs> you know, every, every competitor is always trying to get the glute ham tie. Some people even think there's a glute ham tie muscle. Well, really, it just comes from development of the low glute tying into the hamstring. There's actually no specific muscle to train it but in bikini what they want to see the judges want to see is you know this area be tight doesn't show extra body fat but they don't want to see it be striated cut too deep anything too dramatic either because that can actually be an indicator that you're too lean so you know she has soft lines here nothing crazy nothing super dramatic um, and when we're looking at the rest of her leg you know it's pretty comparable not a lot of super development here you can see the quads just a tiny bit from the back that sweep on the outside but nothing overly dramatic you know it's pretty symmetrical this is again we're talking about this hourglass. Well, there it is. Every pose they're looking for in bikini is this hourglass. Now we transition over here to our wellness competitor, Francili, on the left. And you're going to see, okay, again, glutes to a whole different degree of development, right? Just so much more developed, you know, but never getting to the point where you get this squared out effect, okay? Because if you actually develop the glutes a lot, they would look like kind of open men's bodybuilding, you know, where you see those guys have this kind of squared out glute. This is not going to happen in this division. You, they don't want to see that. The key here is fullness and roundness, okay? So upper glute, like I was saying, uh, you know, for both of these divisions, it's extremely important to have this upper glute in wellness. You really need this area, and this will be feedback for a lot of wellness competitors as well as uh, bikini competitors because that's what creates that upper development that the judges want to see in this division okay so now we look at ham tie you can pretty much see all of this shape coming out and this is not because she's leaner right it may appear so looking from the back uh, and you know give or take a little bit she might but the thing is here is this looks so dramatic because of this development there is so much more glute development here so much more hamstring development it pushes on the skin you guys and that's how you get that glute ham tie okay a glute ham tie for those of you listening comes from you know having a lot of glute development and a lot of hamstring development and then me stage level condition that's what really shows it that's what pulls it through and you know we can even see into her hamstrings here you can definitely tell that more development makes a big big difference it's pushing to a different spot now we look at the quads and they're sweeping big off from the back you know you're going to see just really how much development in the quads she actually has because you can still see them pushing out in the back pose so overall just a lot more development here and if you're still looking at these two competitors and thinking that there's no difference i mean this is crazy different you guys let's look at this final pose here and just kind of talk about these differences here this is just a transition pose but i thought it was another one that pretty clearly exemplifies these differences for you guys okay upper bodies looking pretty similar both competitors nothing new there we've talked about that the waist is tapered you know and it's it's exactly where it should be not too shredded not too lean and then here's the big ticket difference right you can see glute development bikini versus glute development wellness far far different quad sizes is like you know literally probably almost double for our wellness competitor versus jen over here so it just makes a big difference all around when you go into this point and you see the way that these divisions are lined up and these stacked out. Now, so what does this mean, right? Because one of the reasons I keep doing posts like this is people are very confused overall about the wellness look, about the wellness shape, right? Like, what is the difference? Why can some people then go to stage and, you know, do both and maybe they do good, right? They do good on stage. They do both uh, categories and, you know, they're able to place in wellness and bikini, right? Because that should be impossible based on what I'm telling you in this video. However, you guys, you have to remember if you're doing, uh, you know, let's say an amateur level show, introductory level show, you know, you're in the NPC, in other words, you know, and you're not going to nationals or something like that. You're just doing a regional show. Well, the quality of competitors is always going to be pretty varied, right? Show to show can be totally different different stage can be totally different competitors on that stage can be a totally different judging panel with you know their their specific you know subjective parts of judging they have um there's uh, there, there's a lot of things that go into this that can make a big difference and here's the thing if the quality of competitors are lower right if you you know it's not pros we're talking about like here we're talking about the best in the world in both categories you know they're the olympia champions 
Um, if we're talking about, you know, a wide variety of competitors, well, it's possible to still be the best in either division because maybe you still hit more of the markers and points than the other competitors in that class or in that category. And so you can still place in both at the amateur level. And this is something I do encourage people to do if you're trying to find, you know, bikini or wellness, which one's the best fit for you. Try to compete in both then, you know, try and see what the judges say, see what you feel, see what your feedback is, see what you think is the best answer for you. And. And uh, it does make a big difference, you know, once you start to climb the ladder. You will not be able to compete, however, in both of these divisions. You know, going to nationals, trying to get a pro card. You're not going to get a pro card in both. You know, you're not going to go into the pro leagues and be able to do both. You really got to start to find out which one of these you like the most. And then start carving your entire look to fit that category. And that's really one of the best things to take into consideration, you guys. If you're confused why you see people placing both, or maybe you only did one, but you saw somebody that, you know, placed higher than you in your class also do that class, it's the variance of quality of competitors. When you climb that ladder up, though, that, that goes away. You can't really do that anymore. It's pretty impossible to do that because the criteria becomes so exemplified, you guys. So there is, uh, you know, a good insight into the differences of wellness and bikini. If you guys have questions, questions on that please comment them below also i did want to mention real quick we do do physique assessments you guys i do them all myself it's pretty much similar to what you saw on the screen today where i review your physique and i tell you areas of improvement i tell you what the judges are looking for your timelines to make those improvements and your timelines for contest prep so for anybody out there that is interested uh you can go to my website teamflex.com slash physique and you can do our physique assessments only 39 dollars and i will do it in video format just like that and give you you know a lot of the criteria are very similar to what you would hear from judges. Um, you don't have to get on stage to hear that. And also, you know, you can get further direction of where to head before going back to stage and all those things. So it's very beneficial. I get a lot of great feedback on it, you guys. So check it out if you are interested. And otherwise, please make sure again to help me out with a share or a thumbs up or whatever you can do to help me. I appreciate it so much, you guys. Thanks for watching. Coach Rye is out.